Today, I'm joined by Pusit, founder at KP Technology Management, one of Caspio's premier partners. And today, Pusit will be sharing his thoughts on the role of low-code in building management. Welcome, Pusit, and thank you for joining Caspio's Low Code High Impact podcast. So please share with everyone a little bit about yourself and your company. Hi. Hi. Um, thank you very much, Paul, uh, for today. Um, yeah, it's a good chance to join uh, with Caspio. Yeah, we uh, we are the... We call ourselves the solution, um, digital solution uh, developer, right? And how we found ourselves, uh, myself, my background actually was from um, software development, but I haven't been um, developing software for quite some years because uh, we, we, you know, after graduation, then, then I joined uh, facility companies, uh, facility service, and then um, pretty much on, on the user side, right? Um, then gradually, uh, then I found that, okay, we need uh, digital transformation somehow. So, and there was a lot of the, you know, since uh, we, we, we use different language uh, besides of the, you know, our own language, then we have other languages. Uh, English is very, very minimal that we use over here. So um, on the UI side and everything, you know, it's quite difficult to, to, to you know, to use the, the software in the market. You know, they are variable in the market. So we have to develop, um, you know, solution for, for ourselves. Those, uh, when I started, um, you know, gradually, uh, because my background from IT, so everyone expected that I, I should come up with, you know, a uh, uh, digital transformation. So that, that's how we started it. And then, and then I came out on my own, uh, to, to become a full time, uh, developer for this particular, uh, uh field, which is, uh, a facility service um, provider. Yeah, and that was about six years ago. We started about uh, 15 data pages those days, and now we are running 1,000 data pages uh, every day now. Wow. Yeah. So, Pasee, what type of services do you offer customers? Okay, uh, we're developing software for them, you know, by 100%. We use uh, Caspio. Uh, we, we have a little bit of the hard code on the front end side, you know, like, you know, those, uh, the, the front end dashboard and all that, but, uh, everything embedded uh, by using Caspio. Yeah. So, um, the solution that we, we built around, uh, we mainly, uh, support the soft services. Uh, we call soft services, which, uh, including our uh, cleaning security services, uh, pest control and hygiene services. But some, sometimes, uh, we also cover the, Hard service, which uh, uh, which um, covering the mechanical and uh, engineering services mm-hmm. you know, for the for the buildings. So I'm still I'm still in the same old field, you know, um, uh, providing service for buildings. Uh, so somehow it's related to to uh, facility and building management, you know. So yeah, we work hand in hand with them. Yeah, so I can see that um, KP Techman was um, established around eight years ago. And you've been a Caspio partner now for, I think, just coming up for two years or maybe a little bit, just over two years. So can you remember what made you approach Caspio and think about becoming a partner? Okay. Uh, once again, um, because I left um, IT for quite some years and yeah. being the user side, to go back and start hardcore again is it, it, difficult. So we, I, I look around. Uh, for for low code, and there was no such word on those days that I, I look around. I, I didn't know that I, what, what I was looking for. <laughs> then I found uh, Microsoft Access, and then I yeah. found Caspio, and then I thought this is the this is the, the the one. So yeah, we we started from 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 that time and until now. Yeah. Still so time. I suspect over the eight years, your portfolio of customers has changed. What type of customers are you working with on a regular basis? Um. The building service uh, provider, yeah, yeah, building service provider, and we have um, some retail customer that they use like nationwide, 150 branches, um, actively day and night. Because, uh, like I said, I, I also develop software for for security service, so they use it 24 hours. But see, you talked about um, the types of customers that um, you manage, but where are they predominantly located around the world? Um. Right now, we, we, we are still in, in Thailand, but, uh, we already have a, a branch, uh, in, in Malaysia. And we are, yeah, we came to Malaysia market now and gradually, uh, we will go to Singapore, definitely. Um, but besides, besides of that, because I have my other partner, um, a good friend of mine, uh, in Utah, 
uh, from time to time, you know, uh, we, we work together and I, I work to support uh, the project in Utah as well. No, it's great. Thanks for sharing that. I'm sure there'll be customers that are listening to this that go, actually, let's start having a conversation with KP Technology Management. Thank you. Today's um, spotlight is really around how low code works with building management. So for everybody that's listening, not everyone's going to be familiar with what building management and facilities are. Can you please explain what um, that is? The, the facilities, so, uh, facility management is like you make sure that the building is ready to, uh, to, to serve whoever come in the building, right? So you want to make sure that uh, it's working um, effectively, you know, uh, with, with uh, uh, safe cost, of course, and, and nice environment at all times. So that's why uh, building services come around, you know, uh, outsource cleaning service and outsource um, security and pest control, make sure there's no rodent around, you know. So, and we use the software to tracking the quality and efficiency of mm-hmm. the operators. That, 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 that's how, that, that's how we, 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 we use uh, Casio to serve it. I see. What do you see that are the typical common challenges? Um, with building managers, what do they face, and how can low code um, applications solve this? Okay, this this is a good question because we 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 we've been living there nine on uh, yeah. this. Uh, is because building is is uh, is coming up every day, right? And mm-hmm. big and small, and so they have different requirements from place to place. Even even with uh, with the same service provider, because they're they're providing. A uh, wide range of customers from large uh, buildings, you know, 150,000 uh, square meters um, until um, to, to small size. So um, uh, requirements are different from place to place. Mm. So uh, we have to be very flexible. And with low code, this is possible. And often we have another challenge, uh, which is uh, their time. You know, when, when they say, okay, uh, they almost want it yesterday. You know, every time they talk to us, <laughs> they say, okay, I want this almost now. You know, uh, so, uh, what, what we do is we have the commitment with customer, uh, as a norm. We, we said within eight weeks, no matter how large your project is, um, we will, we will, you know, eight, eight weeks will be, um, uh, ready to work. Uh, and that's including, uh, trainings and, and, you know, um, onboarding everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So without low code, I, I don't think I can make it. So based on um, obviously your knowledge of this industry and this particular sector, um, does it differ in different parts of the world as in the facilities and building management? Do they ex- have different expectations? Yeah, the expectation is, um, well, well, once again, um, uh, it's very from place to place, right? Um from from what from what I can see, uh, when I'm uh, in a, in another country, uh, people seem to adapt um, with whatever um, software is available. Uh, they're, they're 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 more adapt to that. But uh, in this side, uh, in this region, there's a again uh, the software have to adapt to 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 the user. So and and this this is a uh, this is good good starting point for us uh, to to start using local. So whatever you need. You know, uh, regularly, what what I what I do with my customer is, um, I have to change the uh, UI. Yeah, I have to change, uh, you know, um, always adjust to to what they want. Um, it, it is it just it just come up, you know, a requirement comes up, and then it's, okay, you just you just have to meet my 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 expectation, and and that's it, you know. So so, and this is uh. Something that I have to overcome as well. When I try to to build a SaaS uh, product, one fit tall, uh, one for all, uh, it doesn't work that mm-hmm. way. I, I'm provided. I, I have a few uh, SaaS that I built um, with Castio, serving my customers now. But it seems to be uh, for entry level only, uh, entry level customer only. But when it comes to to the to 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 to, to serious business uh, with a larger company, they say okay. I wanted the whole thing, you know, to to rebuild uh, for us, you know. So, so that that's what I want. I think I think is is opportunity that more than threat. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. So, how scalable would you say low code platforms are in this industry? How scalable? Um, 
to me, especially with with Casio, um, we're happy with 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 uh, with this capability. Uh, capability. Uh, with the same software that I built on my customer five years ago, uh, it was used on one site, and then uh, with the same software, nothing changed much. Now they 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 use you know, hundred different locations, you know. So and I I don't have to worry about anything, you know. Uh, all I have to do is just add more uh, storage, and, and that's it. Yeah. So the uh, scalability is 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 a uh, is a strength uh, of the SPO. So from your side, is there a standout project that you've worked on using low coding through Caspio um, where there's been like efficiency savings or good return on investment for this particular industry? Um, you're talking about the, the turnover, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would say around uh, 20,000, uh, 20, 20K. Yeah. So is there a specific project that you've worked on which has actually been kind of like a real good, like, show, show-stopping, show amazing project that you've worked on that you can share with everyone? Okay. Um, maybe I, I won't touch on, uh, I won't mention the name of a customer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the retail uh, that, that we've been serving um, them for five years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they, I, I touched on this. Uh, there are 150 different locations. Wow. Uh, they're using day and night. And I think uh, easily uh, 200 um, users uh, in, in, in that uh, particular uh, application alone. Yeah. But um, requirements change from, from year to year. So every year we have to adjust here and there. And uh, the coming year, uh, it's going to be very challenging because uh, they ask us to, to, to add on the IoT, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm working uh, with the IoT device uh, from Singapore. And yeah, and using KPI, you know, to to uh, pass some information back into Caspio, build the uh, dashboard on Caspio, and send a trigger and notification. Uh, so it's going to be challenging and it's going to be interesting. So it is within this coming another month, uh, we will be going to launch this for that you know, as as an add-on for whatever yeah. we did with uh, with them for five years now. Impressive project. Yeah, it sounds like a large project as well with this particular customer. Um, kind of looking to the future, how do you see low-code um, evolution with this building and facilities management industry over the next few years? Um, I think uh, from, this is the feedback from, from my customer. Yeah. They'll, 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 they will want to see more uh, more attractive <laughs> you know, the, uh, interface. And and there's a, it, it's, it's going to be... A, uh, they, they need it to to be a bit more user friendly. Um, I think it's not it's not the Caspio side; it's just more on, on my side that I have to build the front end uh, to make it more more attractive to them. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the the future is looking very good because uh, we meet all requirements that they that they require, and then scalability is there. And yeah, so we keep expanding with with, with our customer. Yeah. Quite happy with this. But see, if somebody's listening to this. Um, this recording, this podcast, what advice would you give them if they're considering um, moving forward with working with low code and maybe Caspio? Oh, please come in. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the low code world because um, it is uh, it, it is a trend. Uh, I think it's been a trend for quite some years, but maybe over here it's a bit slow, but uh, people are starting to, to know that it's a trend because there uh, a lot of time they're um, competing with uh, uh, a much larger uh, competitor. So, uh, with uh, the time scale that we, we, we can compete and then the, the cost wise as well. So, um, myself, I, I, my, my company, we claim that we are a solution uh, developer and, and provider. So, uh, I would really um, recommend uh, to really entering into this uh, local world. You know, because it's, it's, it's already here and then it's been here for some years. And and I, I, I've been with Caspio um, and I'm no regret. I'm really, really, we're doing this every day now. You know, uh, it's been so many years that we've been do, do, doing uh, low code every day. Yeah. So. Well, Pusit, thank you for sharing your low code um, journey and experience and especially focusing on the building and facilities management industry. I think a lot of people are going to find this very interesting and we'll put all your contact details so people want to contact you directly 
they can do that um, after this podcast. So thank you for being a Caspio partner um, for a few years now. We really appreciate your business and your value partnership. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm really happy to, to speak about uh, Cas- Caspio and Low Code because uh, without without Low Code, without Caspio, I, I, do, I don't think I would be back in um, in uh, software development again um, because uh, things move so fast. And so all, the only way to compete with with, with the with this fast changing is low code. Great. And Thank you so much. And, and meet all requirements of customer at, uh, at no time. So we need, we need uh, low code. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pasit.